Um, and so we just started the recording now because I forgot to click that button. Uh, but today we're going to be talking talking about tutoring. Um, and so I'm going to introduce uh, two colleagues here that are are in charge of that. First, uh, we have our graduate assistant who is going to be doing all the tutoring coordination there is. Um, Allison Doctor. Uh, let's give it up for Allison. Woo! Yeah, Allison. Thank you all. Mm -hmm. All right. And then also uh, her supervisor, uh, we have Dr. Uh, Stephanie Mitchell, uh, who also teaches our English classes here in TRIO, uh, Student Support Services. Thank you, Brian. It's good to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are you guys uh, pro-bat or anti-bats? Uh, the bats have been getting a bad name lately, um, and there was one in our office. So I'm just curious if you, you had an anti or pro. I, I am pro-bat because they eat mosquitoes. Yes, that's what I said. I, I'm anti-mosquito pro-bat. Yep, yep. I, I, I would that. agree with the anti-mosquito, but not <laughs> pro-bat in the office. Let's keep yeah. it outside. Don't need it. <laughs> yeah, it was a very intense day yesterday in our office uh, with the bats. I could not catch it and either uh, could Morgan, but then the guys came with a net and they, they got them. So, uh, but we're not here to talk about bats. Uh, we are here to talk about our tutoring uh, opportunities for our students. Uh, thank you for some of you that are, are on here currently right now. Um, you are, uh, feel free if you have questions in the chat uh, to pull up any questions you have throughout the presentation on the chat. Um, and we will be able to uh, answer those questions. Uh, but first we're gonna kind of give it off to um, Allison to kind of go over some tutoring options and some things that are important for you to know uh, when thinking about getting a tutor uh, for our students. All right, so go ahead and take it away, um, Allison. Thank you. All right, so let me request control from you. Yep, there you go. Perfect. All right. So yes, I am Allison. Um, I'm starting my first year as a, a graduate student studying higher education administration emphasizing in student affairs. And so I'm lucky enough that this is my placement for a graduate assistantship. So um, what my focus here today is to talk to you about tutoring, the pros and the cons of it, or the really only the pros, um, and just to give you, give you an idea of, of what those are and, and how to contact and, and things like that to get a tutor and, and what the purpose is. So, um, let's see here. There it goes, ha ha, oops. There we go. Okay, so our mission uh, to provide TRIO scholars with tutors who engage them in active, collaborative, and practical learning strategies, fostering academic growth and greater competency in tutored courses content and subject knowledge. Our vision with our network of content specific tutors, we value all students focusing on their academic strengths to improve their understanding in tutored course material and guiding them to be lifelong learners. Now, how do we do that is the next. So we have two different uh, options for you, especially this year, it is going to look just a slightly different because of the environment and the pandemic going on. So we have a math lab that's available two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon, Monday to Thursday. So it's eight to 10, Monday, Monday to Friday, and then um, four to six, Monday to Friday as well. We also have science tutors available during most of those times. Those are going to be available virtually. Both the math and the science tutors are available virtually um, or in person, depending on what your comfortability is. Um, those two time slots, the two hours of the morning and the two hours in the afternoon, um, those are available uh, for, for both of those sessions. Um, for walk-ins or appointments, um, and then anything else that you might need with these course-specific tutors that you'll see the, a little bit lower on the screen there, um, those are available by appointment. So let's say you have kind of a tough psychology class, let us know. We'll find someone who's, who's excelled in that class before uh, and then get you connected with them, and then you guys can meet just one-on-one -on -one outside of those four hours that are, that are um, allotted each day. Um, so yes, we, we match you with, with people who have done those classes before and ideally with those professors too. Um, and you can come here into the office to, to have that in person or it'll be available again on Zoom. You can find those links. They're not up yet, uh, but you'll be able to find those links on the Canvas page. So make sure that you're able to see those notifications and those are available for you. 
And then, um, how do you know if you need a tutor? Um, if you don't understand the material, you're looking through your notes and they're not quite making sense. Um, your first grades aren't quite what you want them to be. Or if your first test does not go well, that has happened to me before in an economics class. So I can vouch for needing a tutor, I get it. Um, or if you're just feeling overwhelmed with content, sometimes a tutor being able to get outside of those classes will really help you with that to explain things in a different way and really slow down that material for you. Uh, so that's just, those are some of the great things that tutors can provide. So yeah. what can you expect from a tutor? or excuse me, how do you apply? Um, they're available two places. You can see it online, or again, it's on the Canvas page. Um, we are you know, updating those with new questions and things like that. You can also come in person. We'll have paper versions of those requests available. Um, again, we have math and science available. What, you know, and, and, and those tutors have a broad range. If it's anything outside of math or science, or if you have specific questions for that, you might even just let me know. Um, my contact information is at the end of the PowerPoint, um, and we'll make sure that the tutors that we have are available for those specific aspects of math or science. Um, yep, uh, that kind of hits all of that. Um, just, yeah, let me know. It, again, it's available on the website or on Canvas or in person. Now, um, I've talked a little bit about this math lab already. Um, you, can, you can kind of like RSVP if you want to with that sign up genius. You can make appointments, um, you can do, or you can just walk in like we've talked about. Again, I just wanna really allow, or, uh, reiterate that it's available both Zoom and in person. So if you're not comfortable coming in person, Zoom is available and, and our tutors are equipped and ready to handle those kind of Zoom, uh, Zoom tutoring conversations. Um, so yes, and again, I reiterate, uh, two hours in the morning, Monday to Friday, eight to 10, and then four to six, Monday to Friday as well for math and for science. Now, what can you expect? Um, we'll match you based on your uh, application, based on the course, things like that. Um, after that, they will contact you. I'll let them know, hey, we have someone who's interested in, in we'll go with the psychology example, interested in uh, getting a cognitive psychology tutor. Would you be interested? Um, and then they will be in contact with you to schedule that specific time that you want that. After you two have collaborated and found a time, you can come back and tell me and I'll make sure everything is situa it's situated with rooms or Zoom links if you want to do it virtually or anything else like that. Um, again, it is available in person, so some of that can be done here in our office um, if you want to do that in person. And then, of course, we will be following guidelines uh, in the office, and regardless of where you meet with your tutor, we want you to be, you know, wearing your mask six feet apart, um, those kind of things, and making sure you don't have any of those symptoms, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we want to keep you guys just as safe as we can. So, next, um, and I want to, again, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to drop those in the chat. We'll keep an eye on it. So what can I expect from my tutor? Um, they'll, they're ready to go over any kind of content material. Um, they'll give you supplemental questions maybe, come up with example questions, things like that. Um, and they'll just help you to work through your, your material, your course. Um, and then, yes, again, the, that bottom bullet to engage, avoid distractions. Um, your tutor is there to help you and they know that. And so they'll, they'll, you will be their full focus during that hour, however long it, it, the tutoring session is. Um, yes, and then they, I will say, so your tutor is not going to, um, well, they'll help you with your homework, but it is up to you to kind of do your homework ahead of time and then come and say, okay, here's the specific question that I have a problem with. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're there to be supplemental and to be helpful. Um, what can you expect? What would we like you to be as part of someone who's accepting this tutoring? To be on time, ready, and have specific questions ready to go. Communicate with your professor. This is something that we urge. Um, they often have additional material that they can say, hey, if you're going to see a tutor, here are things that you can go over and they'll, they'll offer that to you. Um, and this is, yeah, the same as a TA, they'll, they'll do that as well. And they may have suggestions for, for what content to go over or other resources that they might have. Um, ask questions on material so you can understand things better. 
and engage in the tutoring session as well. So we'd like you to be off your phone, um, off your email, things like that, but to be very focused on the content during that time. All right, and so like I mentioned there, um, we have science tutors available. They're, they're in that similar lab format. Um, but we also have a humanities tutor. Um, he is going to be focusing on anthropology, psychology, sociology, and then he's also our writing TA. So if you have a big paper coming up and things like that, then he's the one that you'll want to go to. Um, the sciences, like I said, that's going to happen in a lab format, walk-in, available those two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. Canyon, the humanities tutor, uh, he will be available by appointment, and that is appointment whether walk-in or virtual. He's okay with both, um, but we do need that kind of communication. If you need that tutor, if you need Canyon as a tutor, let me know. Again, my information will be here in the next couple of slides. Um, let me know and I'll get you in contact with him and you can set up an appointment-based tutoring, whether that's weekly, bi-weekly, whatever you need. Um, yep, and both of those can be requested the same as any other tutor available on the website, on campus, or here in person. Then here uh, is our contact information. So that's me, adoctor3 at unl.edu. Um, I'm the one, I'm going to be doing it, um, so happy to help in any way that I can. Um, Stephanie is my supervisor, and so she will, when I have questions, she will be the one who I ask them to. Um, she's also the writing specialist, so she uh, will be helping out in, or she will, she's open to any kind of your uh, writing questions or English questions. Then Brian, my colleague here, my great host, uh, he is available as well. He's the academic outreach and events coordinator. So you may have seen him posting on Canvas already. Um, and he's, he's kind of like our main contact person. So if you have any questions, he's also available. And then of course we have Joyce, our fearless director. Uh, and she is kind of our overseer and she also is available for questions. So we've got a plethora of people that, that you can reach out to if you have any kind of questions whatsoever. So I'm going to pass it over Perfect. to Stephanie, my supervisor. If she has anything to fill in the blanks, please feel free. Thank you, Allison, and thank you, Brian. Um, the one thing that I wanted to stress here is that this is new to everyone. The translating of the tutoring experience to the virtual realm. And we got used to it a little bit over the um, springtime and into the summer, we were allowed the opportunity to, to do a little bit of a practice run to get used to how it would work with, with tutors and signing up with Sign of Genius and, and what students liked and, and what worked and so on. So we're taking that information and trying to build the best possible uh, system with the best possible outcomes for our students. Uh, but if there's anything that any student has as far as a special request or need or suggestion for improvement, we are always open to <laughs> improvement and, and ideas to make things better. And that kind of goes without saying because we're all in this together. And, and something that I really, really stress to my own students uh, in my own course room is that we all make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes. So um, if, that, if that happens, we just kind of roll with the punches and, and try to do better next time. And being a first year student, uh, you might find that you make a few more mistakes than you're used to. And that's completely to be expected. And we here at SSS are available to help you get through those and kind of uh, make make it so that you uh, come out on the other side better and ready for the next thing that that comes up. So we we take pride in, in doing that for you and providing that for us. Um, I know that we have a few other people here. My colleagues um, Morgan Bills and Mariana Burks are here. They are our math specialists and, and uh, science specialists and um, they uh, might want to pipe in. I know that uh, Mariana in particular um, is familiar with our tutoring program, particularly as it relates to science. Um, Mariana, is there anything that you would like to, to add or, or augment what we've said already? 
Uh, no, just that I commend uh, you all in terms of um, reconstructing our um, different times um, in terms of how we actually are going to deliver our services to our students. I think that we really made a, a good point to do that, especially over the summer, that we truly, truly support our students in any ways that we can. And so again, an extension of that is that we have wonderful graduate assistants such as Allison here to keep out, keep that component going for, for our uh, TRIO scholars and that um, we are also here to answer any questions that students may have, but that again, we wanna see you all succeed and we want, we're gonna get you to the finish line. That's, that's our goal for, for all of you. So um, we support you in all ways that we can academically. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I also want to just kind of mention and, and just say that uh, with these tutoring services, it's important that you start a little bit earlier too. Uh, I've seen it in plenty of times in working in college and universities that students wait until week eight to say, oh, I need a tutor in this class because the last few tests, I didn't do so very well. Um, and so if, you know, you have to, in these first few weeks, you have to really kind of start take, doing some self-reflection to really think, okay, is this a class I really need some extra support in? Um, and so how can I get a tutor to help me support these and the things I'm not maybe not clicking for me or not understanding. Uh, if you wait until week eight, week nine, uh, it could be it could be too late. Uh, and we don't want that to happen. We don't want you to get those uh, those bad grades and, and low GPA. We want you to, you know, be proactive and start at the beginning. So I think it's really important to kind of, especially in this first week when it's syllabus and you know people say, oh, it's a syllabus week right now. Uh, we, we don't really need to do anything. It's a good time to take a look at what class, what, what's going to be coming up in those classes? What are some things that, uh, what are some test dates? What are, you know, start comparing all your classes together uh, because maybe you have a biology class and a math class and their tests are always on the same week. Uh, so then you're going to have to be doing extra for that week. Uh, so it's really important now to really start planning out your schedule to be a little bit more proactive. Um, and then if you need help is, is use these services. Uh, before we go on to any other questions, I do have a sponsor first for us, uh, and that is the University Career Services. It's one of our sponsors here at TRIO SSS. Uh, let University Career Services help you. Uh, you can explore majors and careers through one-on-one -on -one and personal and virtual appointments this fall. Uh, schedule an appointment with uh, Letty Garcia uh, through my plan. Uh, you can go on there and find Letty, Letty Garcia is her name. Uh, you can start a job and internship, internships through uh, Handshake and advising appointments. So you, uh, Handshake is a thing where you can look for new jobs. Uh, if you have a job interview, no problem. All right, Career Services can help you prepare and practice your interview skills um, and through, met, through mock interviews. And connect with employers by developing your network, meet with career coaches to learn about different events, such as the career fairs that are coming up. They have a virtual career fair coming up in September. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about graduate school and how to apply there, they can also help you I figured that out. So University Career Services, even though you might be a first year student, I think it's important uh, that you start looking at your career ahead of time. Again, being proactive so you're not waiting to the end to try and do those things. So that's one of our sponsors um, here. Uh, I will lead it up to is, does anyone else have any other questions at all about uh, career services or uh, the services that we offer? Hey, Brian, I, yes. I remind um, everyone well, students in particular, that our schedule is compressed. So um, if, you, if you look at it, and, and I believe it was Mariana who pointed this out to me, that we're on about a three-week cycle. Is that what you said, Mariana? Instead of the usual monthly um, or even sometimes five to five weeks of the testing uh, cycle that a lot of professors and departments uh, use. Right. So, regard we mm -hmm. you don't want things to uh kind of catch up on you because we're almost this is the first week maybe you could talk a little bit about that and, and how how planning might uh the best practices in planning mariana yeah um when i uh actually went through my curriculum and the weeks of my units um i realized that in terms of how much it was actually compressed for the exams and also um the DLC will cut off exams by, I do believe, November 20th. So um, that's also another important um, aspect to students really, really looking at the syllabus and the lecture outline um, in terms of the course. And then also um, 
uh, director pointed out that we do hold our actual virtual office hours. Um, I have that actually in my signature for my email, but if students need to actually um, come in and, and sit with me virtually um, for those office hours, you can email me directly and I will happily provide that Zoom link for you. Um, again, we wanna make sure that if students need to actually meet with us individually, that we are available to you as well. Um, outside of the, the time for those tutor times too. Um, I have been teaching the students online. This Today was the second day of that with our Zoom meeting. Um, all of the students were all smiles. And so um, again, we're, we're making it work for what we have um, to, to offer these um, good experiences for students. So yes, most importantly, read the syllabus because your exams will not fall the way that most they have in the past. So thank you for that. And I want to stress also that um, I, am, I am not in the office physically either, but remoting in uh, from my home office, I am keeping my office hours. But I will also meet students outside of those hours. I um, had an appointment with a student last night at at seven uh, who needed an after hours appointment and and very easily I, I try to accommodate you guys because that's kind of what we do there's the predictability measure of, of COVID and so on uh, makes things a little uh, difficult at times and and if and if I can accommodate you I absolutely will so um, we're, we're trying to do what we can to make it as, as easy and, and uh, transitional as possible for, for you to succeed. And, and that goes for questions in general. If you have questions about anything outside of tutoring, um, you can kind of send them through us and we can get you in touch with the right people, the right department, a phone number, an email. And um, so, so you should never hold back on uh, that kind of thing, needing information. That's what, that's what we're here for. Awesome, that is uh, great uh, tips. Um, and again, this is being recorded, so you can able, you're able to go back and rewatch this if you're unsure. Uh, this PowerPoint will also be uh, uploaded to Canvas. There's a new thing I created for uh, Trio 30 Talks, um, and there'll be all our PowerPoints that we have with all the information in there. Uh, we have a question from Brittany. Uh, thank you, Brittany, for asking a question. Uh, how soon will the tutoring services be available for us? Yep, so we're hoping to get the math lab and science labs available up and going um, by next week um, and get them going. It might not be Monday or Tuesday. Again, we'll post those hours as soon as we get them officially confirmed. Um, again, on Canvas and likely on the website as well. Um, but we're hoping to get them going next week because we know, just like we had said, if since this is sped up, we want to get this going as soon as we can. Um, we have already had people come in. I've gotten two requests for other other subjects as well. Um, so if you if you already see, like Mariana was talking, to, you know, you already see that syllabus and you're getting a little nervous, please come in and, and we'll get you set up. Perfect. Uh, I guess uh, one question I would think uh, as as you are looking, uh, what when do you think you, if you have some advice, when do I need a tutor? When when is that opportunity for me to be like, okay, now is when I need a tutor? When do I when do I start making that mm -hmm. that distinction? Um, I as a student in my in my experiences as a student, I like to go to get supplement you know resources and tutoring before tests for me um, to do some of those practice questions. Um, to talk through some of those things, or that's when I would go into professor's office hours. Um, but then it's also handy after a test, especially if your professor is someone who gives that feedback back, um, then it's nice to go back over that and figure out what, what did go wrong. Um, but I'll pass that off to my, my faculty colleagues and, and hear what, what you guys have to say about when, when students you think should get tutoring. What I've, what I've offered advice for students is the first assignment that you're stuck on. The very first, if you get to a concept or an actual question and you say, I have no clue what this means or what they're looking for or what the answer is, that is the moment because that is the moment where you're starting to meet the challenge of the material in the course. 
And so when you are at that moment, that is the most pivotal moment because that is the moment where you're gonna to start to guide your own success. Um, so what we've done in the past is that I've required um, my course of students to come in for tutoring. Um, I would set them up to actually complete two hours a week. And then that way that practice them to actually structure their time, really allocate themselves to studying the material and understanding it. And so um, if I still have that opportunity, I may build that in. Um, just because we have a wonderful space that has been worked so hard on for renovations. And I think that students should be able to enjoy that and also um, really establish themselves with, with our tutor program. And just to kind of um, build on what Mariana said, the, in a lot of disciplines, particularly math and science, learning builds upon learning. Mm -hmm. So in, in reference to the assignment that you're stuck on, if you're stuck on that assignment and then you're stuck on the next one and the next one, you've missed out on subsequent building blocks of learning that um, can create a real issue in terms of the material. So I, my advice too is to, and, and that, that better uh, or you know, sooner than later kind of adage is that, that there, there isn't shame in getting help. If, if it's particularly if it's a struggle a subject that you've struggled in in the past, absolutely give yourself the gift of accessing a tutor early on so that you can really, really solidify those concepts and 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 grasp them fully so that as you build on those, uh, they will come hopefully easier and and the course will go by in a, in a quicker uh, more attain the and with the information being more attainable that 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 kind of mentality yes 100 percent uh don't when it comes to these things and you're not you're struggling don't think that you need to have the pride to just suck it up and do it yourself like we have so many resources all across campus for you to get help that you need we want you to be successful and you can't you're not in it alone uh you're here with us uh you you're, you're paying money to come to the university, paying our salaries to get, get the most out of it that you possibly can, get the resources that you need. Uh, don't have, have pride in other things. Don't, don't think that you need to stick it up and, uh, and do it all yourself. Uh, we have all, plenty of resources that we talked about just for tutoring along with all the other things that we'll talk about throughout the uh, next few weeks on Trio 30 Talks. Uh, we are getting up to that uh, 30 minute mark. Um, and so I do want to stay on task and uh, I do want to mention that Joyce mentioned our, our director uh, that we have a socially distanced study spaces in our office and we're located in 220 Canfield again. Uh, you can, we have laptops you can check out for me. We have calculators you can check out. Uh, we have printing not available quite yet. We're getting that hooked up. Uh, we're still in the process of moving everything in. Um, and so and then also we can set up Zoom meetings if you feel uncomfortable coming in. We can always do those types of things. Uh, just a lot of different opportunities. We're right next to the union. Uh, so go ahead and grab some Subway and come on over um, and bring a cookie with you for me. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you for uh, coming on. So I'm going to share my screen real quick before you all leave. Uh, one more time. It's just a little uh, QR code here. Uh, and this QR code, I'm going to leave it up for a little bit. It's just a, a chance for you to kind of say, hey, I participated in this event. I came. Uh, for those watching the recording, this is your chance to say, hey, I actually did this. I stayed to the end and I'm going to, I'm going to watch this. It has a few questions about some different things about these talks. Uh, here, here's an opportunity. Hey, Hey, I want to hear Trio 30 talk about, you know, the well-being office. If that was something you're interested in, well, Hey, next week, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be talking to Laura Shell and um, uh, a wellness, a well-being coach uh, and talk all about their office and the resources that they offer us. Um, and it's going to be really exciting for them. So feel free to come on again. We're do these, uh, today was a special time at three, uh, but most of the time we're going to do Wednesdays at four this semester. Every Wednesday at four, we'll have something. Uh, we'll have uh, the well-being office. Uh, we'll then have, uh, we'll have our counseling center come in as well in September. Uh, we'll have a recreation. We have our career services. A lot of our sponsors coming through. Uh, all the different kind of resources across campus every Wednesday. Uh, and that's when uh, that will be uh, for that. Um, and then that is all I have, and I don't see any other questions in the chat. Uh, so thank you all for 
uh, coming today, uh, spending time with us, a quick 30 minutes, uh, just so we get some information. Uh, thank you to Allison, uh, Stephanie, and Mariana for giving some great uh, advice uh, as you for our students starting your first week of classes. Uh, be safe out there, wear a mask, uh, especially when you're in the union. Um, and be safe, uh, and thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.